Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to Max Payne. This is going to be my let's play of the classic 2001 Remedy game. Uh, it is a game I played as a 10 year old but never beat. And let me tell you, it is, it is not a game I should have been playing at 10 years old. This game is... Oh, it messed me up. It messed me up good and proper. It was terrifying, it was difficult, it was violent, and I loved every second of it. Except for two in particular sequences that I'm sure we'll get to, but welcome everyone. This is, uh, this is Max Payne. We're gonna do the tutorial, because I do not remember how to play. But strap in. This, this is a game. Oh my gosh. Oh, if you haven't played this, you are in for a treat. Welcome to a short tutorial on how to play Max Payne. Which is a brilliant name, by the way. Max Payne. Yeah. And look, look at his face! Oh my god. And, oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, the controls are inverted. Well, first of all, let's answer this phone. Uh, Max will look at interesting items. Jolly good. Okay, now that you know how to use items, go and use the doors in the van. Right, will do. We've got our uh, trusty Beretta, and uh, yeah, if you I remember, this is one of my, f like, the most memorable pause screens ever. Watch this. It just rotates around him. Look at that face. Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, this whole game's just full of those, and that's not even, oh, that's not even the half of it, man. Don't know why the camera's freaking out a little bit. That's weird. Uh, yeah, it is it is inverted, so I need to change that like right now because I do not I am not controlling a plane. I do not want it to go up when I press down Options controller options Inverted aiming by default my gosh. No, thank you. No, thank you uh, Oh, there is insufficient memory card space what? Oh no, it's okay, I'll probably use save states. I am emulating this. I do actually have it on PS4, but I just thought, freeze of recording, uh, I'll just play it on my PC instead. So, this is Max Payne, it is a third person shooter. It is incredibly dark, incredibly gritty, and also, actually doesn't control that bad. Now that I've got the, <laughs> the inverted thing turned off. So, this, yeah, this is, um, you, we'll, we'll get into the story of Max Payne sooner or later, but it, it is, it is like a, a, a film noir, gritty crime game, lots of violence, and... Oh, I just shot the van. And there's a car, oh, that's gonna be annoying. I, I blow up the, I blow up the van. Let's, let's open the van. Ooh, I just got a shotgun. Oh, that feels beefy. So, uh, yeah, th this uh, this game came out in 2001, which, if you remember, The Matrix came out in 1999. Can you, uh, can you guess some of the uh, influences when I press L2? Whoa! Ooh, bullet time, baby. Bullet time. Also, I'm completely ignoring this tutorial. Useful items can be found inside breakable objects. Can I not shoot the crates? Uh, now shoot- oh, shoot the padlock on the metal door, okay. Can I not shoot the crate? I thought I could shoot open the crates. I guess not. Uh, there is no, like... Oh god, actually, it is gonna be a little bit finicky. Boom! There is, um... There's no, like, zoom in to aim. This is definitely aged in that respect. It's, uh... It's not like your modern third-person shooters. Max can shoot dodge by moving and pressing the L1 button for a bullet time combo. Whoa! And this blew my mind as a kid. I had actually not seen The Matrix when I, play, when I played this for the first time. I watched it soon after. But uh, yeah, this is actually like the best Matrix game on PS2. Although, saying that, I never played the second one. And they've actually just announced a remake of the first and second games made by Remedy, who made this game, you know, the people behind Alan Wake, uh, a bunch of other games. Super, super excited for that. Hello. Max can also go into bullet time, I've already done that. So yeah, for some reason, Max 
He's, he's a New York detective, right? But he has the ability to slow down time. Which is pretty cool. Uh, you can't do it infinitely, though. There's like a timer there on the bottom left. That's also my health on the left as well. Uh, Max's silhouette will get red as we take damage. I don't know why there's so many payphones in this random alleyway. <laughs> who the Who is using... Why are there two payphones in the same alleyway? Max jumps when R2 is pressed. Yes, we're going to have to jump to get out of here. I actually do remember this tutorial quite well. I, I did it a lot as a kid. Uh, but yeah, we can actually do a bunch of like... Look at, look at that! You must be mad to jump backwards off a brick wall like that. And he can roll. He's actually very, very agile. Look, look at this. He's... he's he, Oh yeah. He's been doing some, some tumbling in the gym. Uh, and yeah, just just another thing this game does incredibly well is atmosphere, but we'll get into that once the main game starts. Oh yeah, it's um, you aim with the with the camera, and just the left stick is you know moving around like that. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. But I remember playing this again as a kid, and just the sense of freedom controlling Max was very impressive for the time. And it is. Uh, yeah, it's set in New York as well, by the way, if you didn't know. That door is locked. There's a phone. Oh, yeah, another phone. Oh, I love this. Watch, look. Enemy dispenser. <laughs> You'll see that in a minute. Next, to get, uh, next, uh, next you get to try bullet time. And shoot dodging a real gunfight. Press the enemy dispenser next to the phone to fight. I'll take uh, a few enemies, please. Whoa! How- I was aiming the, the other guy! How did I kill you? Oh, it's very satisfying though. The aiming is a little bit off. I think there is some aim assist. Uh-oh, I've taken damage. Boom. How did I miss? Oh, and occasionally it does the, the Matrix camera move thing. Very good. Now search the subway entrance for a medicine cabinet. Yeah. Also, can I turn that bloody siren off? It's very loud. And there doesn't seem to be any police around anyway. Ooh, there we go. I always remember doing that. Tar Cafe. Tar Cafe. World's best since 1964. That's the year my dad was born. Uh, what's reload, by the way? Square. Okay, that's pretty... That's That seems to be, you know, uh, the button that we use most in modern games to reload. Uh, it did tell me to open up the... Oh, check the subway, didn't it? Aha! Just random painkillers. Take random pills from random subway uh, entrances, everyone. They will make all your problems go away. Try searching the nearby van. I will do. Oh, there we go. Oh, sniper rifle. Ah, I forgot about this. You found uh, three more bad guys are coming from the side alley. Uh oh. Uh, press X to zoom when the sniper rifle is selected. Right, I need to uh, actually remember how to. Oh yeah, we can crouch. Yeah, we can crouch. How do I, uh... Oh, there we go. Sniper rifle. Can I zoom in any more than this? I'm taking damage. Oh my god, it even does the sniper uh, elite bullet thing. Oh, I keep bloody missing. So I can't... Can I zoom in? No, that's that's changing weapons. X X zooms in. But not very much. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh man, yeah, the controls are very sensitive. I don't I don't know if I <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be using the sniper very often. I never actually beat this game though. This game is hard. I only saw the end of it because I used level skip cheats. I thought there was supposed to be another dude. Oh, there he is. 
there must be a way of zooming in. Oh, you can go into uh, bullet time as well with a sniper. That's nice. The jump. I'm crouching. Is there really no? Oh, you hold X when you press it, when you zoom in initially. Okay, that's good. I'm so glad. Right. So, we're done with the tutorial, but there is one little thing I have to do every time. And that is jump on top of this van. I said jump on top of this van, Max. I know it's probably very slippery. And... Yeah, this game's platforming is not very good, but if you could jump up here, I remember finding this out as a kid and just being amazed. We go up the fire escape. And... Just jump in, jump in a random room! We found the secret room! Yay! And on PS4, you actually got a trophy for that, which was really cool. And you are rewarded with Ingrams, which are... Uh, very nice, small painkillers. Oh, don't mean to do that. Um, Ingram is basically like a... an auto pistol. Whoa! Look how dingy this apartment is though, and th that is- that is Max Payne in a nutshell, everyone. It is just... drenched... in... <laughs> in squalor. It is... Oh, it's so atmospheric though. Also, can we turn the TV on? We can! Oh, it's my favorite show. It's the pure white light show. Oh, it always brightens up my day. Literally. Boom. I don't know who lives here, but they should lock their windows. Right. And since we're done with the tutorial, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to see Max die. You ready to jump off here, Max? Here we go. Oh, right on top of the van. Oh, we're going to bounce off? We did. Beautiful. Excellent. Restart. There we go. So, that is the tutorial, my friends. I really hope the, uh, the, the volume levels are okay, actually. I did very little testing. This is probably going to come back and bite me in the arse. Uh, so, you know what? Since it was only to t uh, the tutorial, I'm going to go quickly check that. And then... Well, let's, let's actually quit the tutorial. I don't need to do that again. We're going to start a new game, so I'll be right back. Right, we seem to be good to go. Let's start a new game. And can I just say as well, the, the main theme of Max Payne, which we, we are uh, hearing right now, is it's one of my favorites. It's, uh, oh, it's good. It's good. You, this game doesn't have much music, though, so that's fine. Right. And it looks like there's four difficulty levels. We can only select Fugitive, which is absolutely fine by me, because, again, this game kicked my ass as a kid. I definitely never beat it. I got pretty far, but ended up having to resort to cheats. So I'm hoping I can beat it legitimately for the first time ever. Fugitive, here we go. Now, the, uh, just, just a content warning, okay? The intro to this game and certain aspects of the story are pretty dark. I was not kidding when I said I should not have played this game as a 10-year-old. It goes some pretty horrific places, so... Just bear that in mind, but here we go. Max Payne. It's got some great voice acting too by, I think, is it James McCaffrey? One of the best voices ever. Uh, we're going to hear that uh, quite a lot through the game as well, I think. Those water effects uh, haven't aged particularly well. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress in Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. They were all dead. 
The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. What a shit-eating grin. <laughs> to make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Oh, I'm telling you, his voice. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Part one, the American dream. So, yeah. This is um, it's kind of like comic book. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See you, Alex. You're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. Oh, that line. Oh. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Hmm. New Jersey, three years ago. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row, center. Okay, we are in control of Max, and uh, there's his jacket, very nice. Um, first, first of all, as we'll what see... The hell? Oh. Things, uh, things are not... Yeah, that's not a good sign. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. So yeah, every time you examine something important in the game, we'll have a little scene like that. And I do enjoy the, uh, the comic book panel kind of, uh, method of cutscenes. I just think it's... it's... <sighs> It's better than in-game stuff, what they could have done with, you know, the te technology at the time. That's adds a lot of personality. Oh, boy. This. Oh, that's blood. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help. Who is this? Hello? What the heck? It, it, honestly, this intro scared the crap out of me as a kid. It's still unsettling now. I don't think there's anything in the wardrobe, no? Okay. So this is Max's house. I, I've always been amazed by the, uh... Just the verticality. Look how much, how much ceiling space has he got? God damn. That is a lot of headroom. Seeing if I can interact with anything else. Hey, do you remember VHS tapes? 2001. What a time to be alive. Uh, lovely fireplace. Yeah, this... I, I'm, I'm glad you've got your gun out, Max. And I'm glad you've got like a million bullets for it too, because I'm probably going to need it. Something is not right. Can I read that newspaper article? The Hero Cops. Oh no. That's not good. Oh boy. Michelle! No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. I mean, I can't imagine how Max would feel here. Freeze! NYPD, drop! Who the fuck are you guys? No, 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 please, God, no. Yeah, guys, I did warn you for a reason. This is incredibly dark. Uh, I, it, honestly, th this, this is one of the most traumatic things in a video game I've ever experienced. The flesh of fallen angels. 
Oh, we've got a baseball bat. Yeah, I think I'd want to cave in whoever did this with a baseball bat. Please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Yeah, Max Payne, all right. Yeah, the in-game cutscenes don't quite, you know, they've aged, but it's still, oh, it's still, wow. Oof. No! And that was dramatic. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Chapter 1. Roscoe Street Station. Oh, yeah, what an intro. It is really grim. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. Love the artwork as well. The feeling hit me like a point blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Drenched in gloom. That is exact. That's what this bloody game should be called. That should be the subtitle. Ah, Roscoe Street Station. Here we go. So, yeah, I do. I really like the artwork in the uh, in the panels. It's just a really interesting uh, way of telling the story. Oh, there's that graffiti again that was in uh, in that alleyway. Right. Um. I think I, yeah. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. That's a good sign. Uh, we're looking for our friend Alex. I, I hope- I sure hope this isn't Alex's blood. I just want to see if I can go the other way first. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a good sign, is it? No, okay. Um, oh, Maxi, what have we got ourselves in for here? But yeah, I think even on the front cover it says, uh, warning, man with nothing to lose. Yeah, using your wife and kid like that, 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 that cloth. Oh. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. The way he gets his gun out of his jacket, though. Not the best animations, but still. Right. Who the hell killed this poor transit police dude? Got some Beretta ammo. I think we can open up these lockers. Nothing inside them. Come on, game. Oh, thank you. There we go. Don't know what. Don't know why. Well, I guess if he's a, if this is a security room, maybe they they pack heat. This is New York after all. And judging from this game alone, it must be the most dangerous place in the world. The pills would ease the pain. Well, they they do call them painkillers. Yeah, judging by this game alone, New York is just full of, like, guns, junkies, murderers, psychopaths, crime bosses. Uh-oh. Hi. Now, wh wait a minute. Why, 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> why did you... That was uncalled for. 
I was just gonna ask you some questions. I'm a cop. Well, technically I'm undercover at the moment, so maybe I shouldn't be screaming that I'm a cop, but still. Uh, one thing that I always remember from this game is the, the dying uh, noises from the enemies. Pretty, it's pretty great. You'll hear the same ones over and over and over. It's very, very dramatic. And uh, yeah, it's just a, just a little bit unsettling with how they've mapped real faces on the character models. I think uh, Max's face is Sam Lake. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Hey, it's me. You talk. Hold it. Oh, I wanted to listen to the dialogue. <laughs> nice. Oh, we've got a desert eagle. When did I pick up a desert eagle? I must have got it from one of the goons. Oh, man. Isn't that cool, though? It's very John Woo. It is. It's very, very Matrixy, very John Woo. Just need a bunch of, like, doves to fly out of the, uh, of the post box there. Um, yeah, I've only got four bullets in me, Desert Eagle, though, so I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. Oh, but we just picked up some ammo. Nice. They're packing Desert Eagles? I mean, Jesus. Also, who are these guys? Huh. Ah. So, pretty much New York at the moment is going through, like, the worst blizzard in the history of the world, so that's how the kind of saying that there's no civilians around. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, I he, Have you seen? I took a little bit of damage there. You bastard. I can't get through there. And yeah, just something about New York in the, in the middle of winter. It's dark. It's grim. It's depressing. I just... This game's atmosphere is insane. Here's someone. What Although, if, oh yep. Yeah. If it was me, I'd be I'd be jumping on that train. Oh, oh yeah. God. So good. Oh. So much for being subtle. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have gone through there. I wanted to explore a bit more. Never mind. Can't remember if there's if there are secrets in this game, I obviously there were there were some in the tutorial, but yeah, I don't know. Secu uh, subway control room. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. <laughs> I love I love Max's dialogue. He's so descriptive. It is it's so film noir. I love it. That's bad. That's bad. You think? Yeah. You think? Oh, <laughs> it's like, it's like kids saying, oh, you got me. I love it. This is so good. Any more dudes? Oh, shit. They're looking for Alex. They had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Yeah, no shit, Max. Can't go through there. I think we have to bust through this somehow. Yeah, we need to get the train working again. Pretty sure. Kiss it goodbye. Whoa. Shoot first, ask questions later, Max. We just saved a man's life. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Frankly, I'm too scared to go to the control room on my own without you and your gun. I would be too, mate. I would be too. Bunch of lunatics running, running riot. In fact, I'm scared and I've got a gun. I'm still scared. Right, up to the control room. Well, we've we've made a friend though. At least, at least we've made a friend. I don't feel so alone. I'm sure we're gonna be we're gonna be friends for life. Friends for life. Come on, pal. My best buddy, I'm gonna call you Ben. Home free, this way. Yo, look out! Ah, oh, come on, no, not Ben. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to call him Uncle Ben now. He was my friend. Oh, I have to open this again, do I? You sons of bitches. Lady Liberty. Oh, can I shoot the water tower? The water cooler? Oh, I think they heard me. <laughs> I think they heard me. Oh, that would have been cool. 
But again, this is a 2001 game. Let's not expect too much. Oh shit. I mean, I do have three painkillers, so I'm okay. Okay, that didn't- oh god, I'm nearly dead. Okay, I'm nearly dead. Let's- let's see if they just run in here. Oh man, I, I just said I have three painkillers, and now I have one. Because I jumped very haphazardly into a door frame. Oh, yes! Oh, I love it. Look at their faces. It's so satisfying killing these guys with the noises they make. It really is. And just, just the gunplay in general really isn't too bad, you know. Even by modern standards. Right. Uh, how do I... Now, this, this is the thing. This game doesn't really tell you what to do or where to go. It's very old school in that way, so you just gotta look around and see if there's any exclamation marks. Anything to examine. Oh, I think... Oh, the wa oh, that was the water cooler. Okay, I was just gonna say, I thought someone was taking a piss. Oh man, did they really have to murder everyone? What are they doing? Why are they so mean? There we go. I think I did it. Oh, painkillers, yes. Thank you. I think, I think that's- I think that got the power to the train again. I think? Oh, there we go, the camera. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Nice. Power. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. I, I want, I want James McAfee, I want Max Payne to narrate my life. I really do. I'm serious. Can we make it happen? Please? <laughs> Alright, back down to the train. What's the bet? And there's gonna be some goons waiting for me. No, there isn't. Okay. Oh wow, I'm actually surprised. I'm ready. You ever driven a train before, Max? Look at his face. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's a shame they got rid of it for, like, Max Payne 3. Max Payne 3 was a good game, though. But again, I, I've so never played the second one. Subtle. Yeah, so much for being subtle, Max. Will you be taking the back pod, sir? Middle of the day, Alfred. Not very subtle. The Lamborghini, then. Much more subtle. Get over the bloody thing, Max. Ah, crap. Wow, this shotgun has the, the most range ever of anything ever. Did you see that? Did you see that? I hit him from like two miles away with a pump action shotgun. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that would have done that. But okay. That's fine. Oh god, look. Oh, I know where we're heading now. I think we're heading into a really cool area. One way or the other. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. Yeah, where is Alex? One way or the other, I was gonna find out. So, yeah, abandoned, old, forgotten areas of subways and stuff like that. This is my shit. I love watching Urbex videos about places like this, reading up on them. I would love to explore stuff like this. Abandoned since the 40s? Sign me up. Yes, it would be terrifying. But, I mean, ah, oh, so cool. Tickets, please. Sure. Yeah, really. Sure. What a, what a thrilling conversation. Oh! oh. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm enjoying this game way too much. Okay, so you can actually destroy some of the crates. Okay, cool. What the? What the? Oh, God. Can't believe I missed him then. 
Come around the corner, you little sod. Whoa. Oh, he's not there. Where'd he go? Wow, he legged, he legged it. I'm about to de-leg him. Oh, shit. That was a little bit close. Okay. Safe that way. Might use another... Yeah, let's use another painkiller. Reload your gun, Max. Oh, it's water. I didn't realize that. Got my shoes all soggy. Bet it's bloody freezing down here, too. Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino. Yeah, spooky. But also, it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. Yeah. The station's not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. Uh, that's all we need. I love, I love listening in on the uh, the enemies. So I'm gonna try and do that as often as I can. Shot him right in his back. I'm not above that kind of thing. I'm not above that kind of thing. I'll I'll do whatever's necessary to get to the bottom of this mystery. I may be a cop, but I am I am a man on I'm a donkey on the edge. I mean saying that, you know, Max saying, you know, he has nothing to lose. Well technically he's still got Alex. Alex is his friend. Just think of the positives, Max. Also, what's down this way? Is this just a this is just a dead end? Wow. Okay. Yeah, looks like there's not going to be too many hidden goodies around. But again, I really don't remember. I'm looking forward to seeing what I do remember because there's certain specific levels that are going to be sort of uh, very familiar to me. I've got some really fond memories with this game as well. Um, I remember I played it, like I said, when I was 10. Oh, that's not good. What the hell was that? I don't know, Max. It was a big, big, big rumbly. Oh, rats! I played it when I was 10, but shortly after buying this game, I got bit by some sort of insect and had a really nasty allergic reaction to it. So I had to have my right arm in a sling and was told not to use my my hand because it would spread the poison or whatever. Live from the crime scene. So I couldn't really play it, but I still did. Uh, which was probably not wise, but there you go. Whack! Oh god. Yeah, they they all they all know I'm here somehow. Ah, whack the sucker. I suppose they did get that phone call. Mobile phones were a thing back then, even if they had amazing ringtones. Don't know how I hit that guy. I legit was not aiming anywhere near him. There's an exclamation thing here. Oh. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna have to find a detonator then. Uh, and I guess we're gonna have to end the video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been a really fun first session of Max Payne 1. Next time, we'll continue our way through these abandoned subways, tunnels, and see if we can find Alex. Really hope you're going to enjoy this. Again, if you've never experienced Max Payne before, it's just it's just a very memorable game to me. And uh, even though, again, definitely, definitely should not have played it as young as I did, I, uh, I'm really, really looking forward to getting back to it. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. Please like the video as well if you have enjoyed this. Share it with anyone. And uh, let me know, are you are you a fan of the series? Which one's your favorite? And are you excited for the remake? Because I am. Take care, everyone. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.